Hey guys, it's JP, and today I'm going to talk about reasons why you should warm up before a run or a workout, as well as some great exercises you can incorporate into your own warm up routine. The reason why I'm bringing up this topic is because a warm up should be an essential part of your training program. This is something that tends to be neglected, as you can find some people rush through it or skip it altogether. However, most elite athletes implement some type of warm up. If you watch an elite runner like Mo Farah, you'll notice that he has his own warm-up routine. Even outside of running, you will commonly see a warm-up routine involved whether it's before a race or a game. Now what exactly is a warm-up? If I were to sum it up into one sentence, I'd describe a warm-up as a series of low-intensity movements that prepare the body and mind for higher intensity activities. The next question you may ask yourself is, how exactly would this benefit me? So now, I'll go over some reasons why you should implement a warm-up. The first is that it slowly raises heart rate to prepare for the cardiac demands of running. It's important to have the heart rate gradually increase for a number of reasons, but one good one is having a spike in heart rate, which would occur if you basically went straight into the vigorous activity, would stress the body and initially put it in some distress. This may sap some extra valuable energy that could be used on running. Another reason is that it shifts blood circulation to the muscles. Doing so improves oxygen exchange in the muscles for increased energy production. The third reason is that it slowly raises core body temperature. Now, this can't be done using something like a hot pack as that only warms up the superficial areas like the skin. By slowly raising body temperature, it will improve mechanical efficiency of the muscles, ligaments, and joints. The last reason is one some people don't think about, and that's to help you shift focus from other thoughts like going grocery shopping and focus on the workout or race you are about to perform. Now that we went over that, let's go over how one should warm up. I'm going to refer back to what I said about what a warm up is, which is that it is a series of low intensity movements that prepare the body and mind for higher intensity activities. However, to get the most benefit out of it, it should be specific to the activity being performed. For running, I'll give an example. For the duration, a warm up should be at least 5 minutes, but try to target for 10 to 15 minutes. The reason why I target that for the duration is that it will give body time for all the benefits that I mentioned earlier to occur. The first part of a warm up could be a light run. In some research papers, they have used a light 5 minute jog. However, another common way to do this is 10 minutes of brisk walking, which is basically quick walking. This is basically a level of intensity between your normal walking pace and power walking. Then, for the remaining 5 to 10 minutes, you can implement low intensity activities that involve things like dynamic mobility exercises or drills that are related to running. Now, I'll give you some examples of what exercises you can implement as part of your own warm up routine. Again, I collaborated with District Track Club to take footage of professional runners performing exercises that they would incorporate in their own warm up. The first one I'll go over is called the world's greatest stretch. However, we won't use this as it was initially intended for, which is a static stretch. This is because using static stretching, which involves stretching in one position for prolonged periods of time, may actually hamper performance. Instead, we will be performing this as a dynamic mobility exercise as he does not spend much time in each position. In doing so, this may actually help performance instead. Now let's go over this exercise. There are actually three parts to it. First, start in this lunge position and try to bring the elbow toward the floor. Then reach for the ceiling. After that, bring the hand to the same side foot and while this is happening, you should also straighten out the same side knee. Then you can perform it again. Just remember to do it on both sides of the body. The next exercise is a variation that combines a drill called the runner touch with the reverse lunge. The focus is to prepare both the anterior and posterior muscles of the leg for running. This also works on single leg balance as you can only stand on one leg at a time during running. For the first sequence, we start with performing the runner touch. Maintain a straight back as you perform this movement. Also, the lower leg should stay perpendicular to the floor. Now, lower the hand until it is around mid shin. Try to keep a level pelvis during the activity. Then when coming up, try to push the foot straight down when rising. Now from here, we will transition to performing a reverse lunge. Then you can repeat the whole sequence again. The last exercise I'll go over is called springing. 
This is a light plyometric activity that is usually used to prepare for higher intensity runs like sprinting. This basically consists of small quick skips. Try to land under the center of mass as you perform this activity. And remember to keep it light and quick. And those are just a few great exercises that you can incorporate in your own warm-up routine. I hope you guys were able to find this video useful on why warm-ups are important. Let me know what other topics you'd like me to go over. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching.